Welcome to Magical Monday. In this week's episode, I'm gonna show you a magic trick with these two rubber bands. It's a very famous version of the linking rubber bands. You know this maybe already. But I show you yeah, my performance and the tutorial on that one. But before we get started, feel free to leave a like and a sub on this video. And also you can check out the description for more information on how to support my work. But now let's get started. The magic trick you just saw is called the crazy man's handcuffs. You could say it's kind of a version on the linking rings but for street magicians. All you need for this is just rubber bands. You can use normal rubber bands, you can use rubber bands that are more elastic, you can use magic rubber bands, there is stuff like that on the market. You can check that out anywhere on the internet. So grab yourself some rubber bands and let's learn this. Here's the tutorial on how to do the crazy man handcuffs. First of all, you're gonna need two rubber bands. I would prefer two different colors of rubber bands so that you can see how they separate so that the spectator is not confused what happened. First thing I would recommend to you is like you stretch out the rubber bands a little bit. Not too much, but do this like for like, I would say 30 seconds or something so that the rubber bands are more elastic and are easier to handle. When your rubber bands feel comfortable to use, you just put the band around the first finger and the thumb, just like so. Some people also like it, uh, the, the second finger, the, the middle finger and the thumb, but I, I don't like this. Uh, for me, it jumps out more, you can try it, but for, for, for myself, the rubber band jumps out uh, from the finger, jumps away from the fingers more often than when I use the first finger. So now you have the first rubber band on the left hand, just like so, and you put the second rubber band on your index finger and behind the first rubber band so that you can like intertwine them like that and it, it really cannot go out. This is the first step. So let me show you at first the secret move I will do to separate those two rubber bands and then I can show you a little bit of the performance how to hide the move and how to make it more like yeah real like a real performance the secret move happens when you twist the rubber bands see it's already separate so this is how fast the secret move happens and it's uh, it's hidden in that secret in that one time twisting like that. You, tw you twist your hands like this and this is where you hide the secret move. All you gotta do for this is you take with your, on the right hand, you take the middle finger right here and pinch the rubber band on top so it cannot go away. You pinch it on top and while you twist your hand, you slip out with the index finger, hold with the middle finger, the rubber band, and slide the index finger right where the thumb is into that little loop. And then when you release it, it's already penetrated through. Let me show you this one more time. So you have the rubber band intertwined like that. You pinch, so while you twist, you pinch on the back of your index finger with your middle finger and slide your index finger right where the thumb is, like that. 
when you now let go of the in the of the middle finger the band will just snap away let me show you a different angle on this one so you have the rubber band right here you pinch on the back slide in with your index finger and release the middle finger just like so so let me, let me show you how this looks in a fast motion you really show that the rubber band is intertwined and while you show it you actually can show the spectator that it penetrates right through the other rubber band so now that you know the secret move let me show you something to yeah, make it a performance so you have the one rubber band on this side the other one really slowly and clearly put it right behind the, uh, the uh, first rubber band you should not make it fast you should not make it like like hidden or, or cover it up it should be really obvious to the spectator that the two rubber bands are like that interlaced you know so don't make it a magic move right there don't make it like like mysterious right there this should be really open to the spectator to sell the illusion that it's really um, that you really cannot escape and this makes it really impossible to penetrate right through you can show the, that the rubber band cannot escape on the right side the left side up and down and then what I mostly do is this is where I make the move so I mostly go like right to left to down or up or up and down it doesn't matter really so like that 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 inter intertwine and release and this is exactly where the move happens so you capture the eyes on the part that the rubber band really cannot escape and then when you perform the secret move the impossible happens I was also showing you one more version where my wife was holding the rubber band so all the spectator has to do for this is you tell them to make a gun with your fingers a finger gun point to each other and curl so that's it and then you can put the rubber band right in between and then all you gotta do is the same move basically you can put to the left to the right up and down and then you make the magic move and it goes right through the spectators rubber band this, which is even more impossible if you think about it like it's in their hand so nothing fancy is happening right there and also one more thing to tell you a little tip I would say to give you when you practice this and when you perform this when you do the secret move don't release right here I would recommend to you that when you have the secret move like that you stretch it out in the motion you hide that's that secret move and when you release it you push into the other rubber band so it looks like they are still together and then you can slide it up and down a little bit create a little friction and show that it goes right through so like I said don't just go like this and and this don't release the rubber band before it touch the other rubber band because it looks like weird for a second practice this magical miracle I would say and amaze the people that you perform it for so it will happen to you that the rubber bands will snap or it will like fly off your fingers or anything like that but that's that's part of it that that happens to me also you just have to go with it and learn how to handle the friction of the rubber bands perfectly I bought some really amazing rubber bands it's not not uh, this one I wanted to show like casual rubber bands for this magic trick to show you that you can also use normal rubber bands but I was um, buying some magic rubber bands for that and uh, especially for some other tricks that you will see on this channel and you will see more in future videos about the rubber bands that I use but for now have fun performing and learning the crazy man's handcuffs and also thank you to my to my wife for helping out on this video I really hope you enjoyed this performance and tutorial and maybe learned something new on yeah this crazy man handcuff performance tutorial feel free to leave a like and a sub on this video if you like it and if you want to support my work and you can also check out the description for more information about my website social media whatever Stay tuned for this Wednesday for New Cards Wednesday. I have a really nice deck of cards showing up there. And if you want to see that, just stay tuned on this channel.
Thank you so much for your support and love and see you as always in the next video. The lucky one out.